Birdwatching is one of the most common pastimes for naturalists both young and old, beginner and experienced. While you can technically go birding with just your eyes and your ears, there's one piece of equipment that really makes birdwatching better. Today we're going to talk about binoculars. If you don't already own a pair of binoculars, the first thing you're going to need to do is pick a pair that's right for you. You can get a cheap pair of binoculars for $25, but don't be surprised to see the super high quality ones going for over a thousand dollars. These are going to be one of the more expensive pieces of outdoor gear you might buy, but if you pick the right pair, they'll definitely be worth the investment. The most important characteristic for a pair of binoculars is magnification and the field of view it provides. Common binocular magnifications range from 8 times to 16 times, with plenty of choices in between. A higher magnification means you'll be able to look at things that are farther away, but you'll have a smaller field of view. Field of view is important when you're trying to find birds in the first place, so choose a pair of binoculars that strikes a good balance between magnification and field of view. The lenses in binoculars can be made out of glass or plastic. Glass lenses will be more expensive but also better quality, whereas plastic lenses will be more durable. Often birdwatchers will have multiple sets of binoculars, a very nice and effective but more expensive pair, and a cheaper pair for use in bad weather or environments that can be rough on equipment like near salt water volcanic soils, or sand. Regardless of which kind of lenses you settle on, make sure you have the proper equipment and chemicals to clean your lenses and protect them from scratching. You can also get more specialized lenses. Polarized lenses will reduce glare and eye strain and may allow you to see things you can't normally see. UV filtered lenses will also reduce eye strain and protect against sun damage to your eyes. When you look through a pair of binoculars, you put the eye cups up by your face. If you wear glasses, you'll need to make sure that the eye cups on the pair of binoculars you pick are adjustable to compensate for your glasses. If you're planning on getting a lot of use out of your binoculars while outside, you may want to consider extra options like getting a pair that's waterproof or or at least water resistant. You should also be careful of your binoculars in environments with a lot of dust or sand, as these can cause real problems if they get inside your binoculars. Finally, you'll want to test out holding your new binoculars. Are they comfortable against your face? Do colors and light come through satisfactorily? Are they too heavy for you to hold up for long periods of time? Even if you don't think your binoculars are too heavy, you should still always use a strap, harness, or tripod to keep them safe. If your binoculars fall even a short distance, the mirrors and lenses inside could be knocked out of place, and your binoculars will no longer be usable. Now that you hopefully have a pair of binoculars, it's time to use them. When you find something, like a bird, that you want to look at through your binoculars, binoculars, face straight toward it and lift them to your face with the magnification zoomed all the way out. Use landmarks like angled tree branches and brightly colored leaves to help you narrow down your search and increase the magnification until your object is large in your field of view. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the first time. Remember that birds are alive and very active, so they often won't sit still for beginning binocular users. As with many parts of being a naturalist, this too takes patience and practice. When you're not using your binoculars to look at birds, there are lots of other things you can do with them. It's a little difficult and takes some practice, but you can orient a smartphone or camera against the eyepiece of your binoculars to take great close-up photos of faraway things. You could also use your binoculars for stargazing, so they're definitely not just for daytime. If you flip your binoculars upside down, you can also use them as a limited microscope. Again, this works well with a phone or camera for close-up photography of tiny things. For those out they're interested in survivalist strategies, binoculars can be used as a fire starter along the same principle as using a magnifying glass. The lenses and mirrors will enhance and focus sunlight on your tinder if you hold them still. And if you're really in an emergency situation, you could always break open your binoculars and use one of the interior mirrors for signaling for rescue. Do you have a favorite pair of binoculars? Why are they the best? 
I'd love to hear about the coolest things you've seen through binoculars down in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like this video, please share it with someone who would. And if you'd like to support The Roving Naturalist, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and read more science posts on my blog. I'm a periodic contributor on the radio show Blue Dot, and you can catch me on Dungeon Dwellers on Twitch every other Monday evening playing Dungeons & Dragons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.